So a few days ago, I posted a video about the new player promotions, Riot Games were starting to run, and how I really enjoyed them, how they captured the essence of starting the game fresh and all that jazz. By the way, Riot, they, they loved that video. The team that made it, they loved it. Me and Riot, best friends, by the way, I plan on inviting them over for a barbecue, and then we're all gonna go inside and they can sit around me whilst I play hentai dating sims. <laughs> it's gonna be great, but anyway, Watching these videos alongside my criminally incorrect guide on Amumu. Don't touch red because other people in your team need red, such as Ash, Zinzo, people like this. If you're gonna take red, Wrong. make sure you're gonna use it because there's so many other champions that would need this more than Amumu. So wrong. So, so wrong. Why did I think that? Don't even take your first red because it, it's not worth it. Don't take red. Your first clear red because other champions need it more. Am I fucking retarded? They brought up a lot of nostalgia within me. I started watching old videos, a video where I went onto NA to join the Dominion beta to play the new map and I absolutely loved it. Oh, how so very, very wrong you were, Ross. Like, seriously, you were just, you were just doing nothing right back then, were you? You, you thought Dominion was good. <clears throat> how? So because of these things, I started thinking back to my first ever game of League of Legends and some of the older days of League and it occurred to me that a lot of you guys who watch my videos, you may have probably played for a few years, but a lot of this stuff, honestly, may be kind of news to you. Things that you never knew were common things to do, things you never knew existed, and back in a time when Rise hadn't been reworked even once. Never mind the current 40 iterations of the champion that we currently have experienced now, like Ryze is actually the Doctor, and the Riot Balance team are, I guess, the TARDIS in this situation. Every couple of months, Ryze just goes inside and regenerates into a newer, slightly more Mega Mind looking form of himself. So let's go back in time, to the late 2000s. Now just a quick thing, if you're interested in some more nostalgic stories about League, just stories in general, give this video a like and let me know you enjoyed it. And if you're new to the channel, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to subscribe. So, all my boys in the sock drawer already? Y yes! I'm a sellout, okay? But here is an image of my subscribers when I asked for it near the beginning of the video, and here is a picture of a small face on a pumpkin. It's totally irrelevant to the point I'm trying to make. But I've been trying to fit this image into a video for weeks now, so this is how it's gonna be. So, obviously League of Legends is a game that I have played for many, many years. The question of, Ross, you have played this game since before Season 1, how come you're not actually any good at it? Springs to mind immediately, I'm sure, for all of you. But there is a very, very simple response to that question. I've pretended to be mentally retarded for seven years. But no, you think this is League of Legends? You think this? Get, get that wee crap out of here. Ah, ah, this is more like it. Ah, look at the pixels. Yes, I can smell the pixels. I can taste the pixels. I played League of Legends for the first time back in like 2009-ish during its beta. And I still remember it very, very well. My internet was terrible, so I had to leave it on for download uh, overnight when I went to high school. Came home. Hopped onto Twisted Tree Line with one of my best friends, Kevin, at the time. He played Ash, I played Vagar, and we thought the game was god awful. See, we were used to playing Dota All Stars and Heroes of New Earth, games that were a little bit more gritty and mature, you know? Because we were mature gamers, that's right. We were so mature that my mum had to go pre order Grand Theft Auto San Andreas for me, and she had to pick up Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4 for me, because I. Because I wasn't allowed to. Intensely mature gamer. So maybe after like three games on Twisted Tree Line, we were pretty much done with the game. Just a lot of things about it didn't feel like what we were used to. There was no denying creeps or towers. The graphics just seemed so cartoony and dumbed down as if we were somehow too good to be playing it. And if I remember rightly, I don't recall it being an issue because I think all of pretty much all of the champions were available for the beta. But when it did come out, I think the idea of having this massive bulk of champions being blocked off by a paywall kinda put me off, as opposed to having all the heroes just being dumped on my head like in Heroes of New Earth and Dota where they're all unlocked from the start. But but fast forward half a year later and boy oh boy did I hit the ground running and what champion did I for some reason gravitate towards? Yeah you guessed it, Trendemir. 
Maybe it's because at the time he was the only character in the game that actually had a Scottish skin, the Highland Trindamere one, the best skin in the game, and that's before Loch Ness Cho'gath came out. Uh, or maybe it's because I am born by Highlander law to behead all those that oppose me for THERE CAN BE ONLY ONE SCOTLAND! Or maybe it's just because I was playing on North America because uh, pretty much the only friends that I had at the time who played video games or played PC gaming from uh, a video game streaming website that I used to run called Video Games, uh, which was entirely populated by the denizens of 4chan, uh, and the, they were all playing League of Legends, and the only character that I could conceivably play with these people was a character that I could literally just use one of those bobber bird desk toys on, to just hit right click all the while having a ping high enough that combined with my terrible internet back in my old house would mean that there was about a 20 second delay between me clicking on an enemy champion and actually realizing I'm tower diving that champion with no minions. I got to around level 29 on NA before I actually decided to just level an account on EUS just because the ping. I was starting to get into the game, all my friends had quit, the streaming website had been taken down and I just thought screw it. This was towards the end of season 1. And it would take me like five years after that to finally get my any account to level 30. Uh, and in the first season, in season one, I would hard abuse Cassidy in my first 10 rank placement games. Only to get placed in low silver, eventually dipping into bronze. And I never played ranked at all for the rest of the season. Now looking back on it, I think it's hilarious how much I disliked League, having no idea how much it would actually change my life, because now I got all you guys, and one day when some silly, silly, stupid, poor company decides to give me a million dollars for a single sponsored video, I will buy a mansion, and we can all have a big slumber party and play League, it'll be the biggest LAN ever. Or maybe something less weird, I'm not really sure, I haven't decided yet. Anyway, there are so many things to talk about when it comes to League, and League in the early days, but for the time being, just wanted to tell you how much I hated League when I first played it. And look at me now. Nothing's changed. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I actually still like the game. But anyway, guys, that's the video. If you did enjoy it, and if you want some more nostalgic stories from the good old days back before... Back before... Back before this meta. I mean, actually, it wasn't any better back then, but still, look, I can pretend it was because I'm probably older than most of you guys. But anyway, if you did enjoy it, leave a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, please join the sock drawer, join the community by hitting that subscribe button. We're getting closer, 400k boys. I can smell it. I can smell it now. But beyond that, guys, take care. Have a good one. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.